Hi, it's me, Lenny. I got a new mic. I don't know if you noticed, but in episode 10, I sounded a lot clearer than usual. And here I go into Streamlabs to film episode 11. And I added my new mic over top of my old mic. So the entire video sounds alien-like and echoey, and there's nothing I can do about it because that's how I recorded it in Streamlabs. Watched a lot of tutorials, wasted a lot of time. So I'm just going to do a voiceover. If you're not okay with that, I'll see you next week because I have no other options. So if you're still with me, and I hope you are, we are going to be watching episode 11 this week. So episode 11, here we go. Let's start. <laughs> Clearly, Joseph is still hilarious, and clearly I sound like a witch with this echo. <laughs> so, I thought this was funny because I'm loving the whole Strezo and Joseph rivalry. I'm very excited to see where their rivalry goes, because, like, this is perfect for me. Before, it just seemed like the rival was a polar opposite of the main character and now I feel like since they've both been on the good side they can kind of bond. The old Jojo wouldn't have said a line like you want me to bash your head in with that sunlight you want some vitamin D? Nah he wouldn't have done that. And I can't help but wonder how many Jojos are there going to be? I wouldn't really consider that a spoiler so if you know please tell me. I love Joseph. So much. He kicks a chair. He's telling everyone to be quiet even though he just shot a vampire which he got offended when Smokey called him a man which was hilarious. And he has such a high temper and it's so adorable. I actually like, I want him to keep this temper. I don't want him to be a chill dude. I can't even reenact how shocked I was when Joseph said that to her. Like, if you don't be quiet, I'm going to stick my tongue in your mouth. Like, is that really going to keep her quiet? I don't know. <laughs> There's like a whole different vibe with this Jojo. And I thought I got the show's vibe, but like the vibe is just growing and growing. And how many vibes are there? I don't even know. I, it, it makes me really confused. So this is an awesome intro. I prefer the animation of this one, but the song, I like the original song, I guess. I just, I'm, huh. They're both good songs, but if I had to pick one to listen to, I'd probably pick the first chapter. And I'm wondering who the redhead is because I have red hair and I like to cosplay red haired girls. So when is she showing up? I want to know. <laughs> yes. And can we just take a second to appreciate his vampiric eyes and fangs? Good job, Strazo slash Strazo. I don't know. No one corrected me, so I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh, well. Either way, he's cute, he's a vampire, he's everything I've ever wanted. I don't know if Dio failed because he killed Jojo, so that's a good thing. I like that Strazo is kind of looking up to Dio, I love that. I wish they could be friends, but they probably won't be. I don't know. I guess I'm not as sad about Dio as I was before because this is a new chapter, so I gotta move on, like, the, gotta turn the page, but... Since I don't believe he's dead yet, I'm not going to let it go until like I see proof that Dio is in fact dead. Never mind Jojo, I don't really care about him. That's, that's so, so cool. cool! Did I mention that I love vampires? Because it seems that everyone who turns evil in the show becomes a vampire and I cannot love that anymore. I just 
Love it so much. How many more vampires am I going to meet? Is Jojo ever going to become a vampire? And which one? So many, so many conspiracies. If I were to get my way, everyone would be a vampire except the initial Jojo because he's too gentlemanly or so he claims to be a vampire. <sighs> I just want the, all the vampires to just live. Let the undead be undead, you know? But I'm still liking Joseph so far, so Joseph may have more success with vampires, and I'm very curious to see how he deals with Stray, though. <laughs> So, Hammond melts vampire faces? Hmm, has that term been used before, melts? Like, melting the face? I don't know. Like, you assume that a vampire would just burn to death, not melt to death. Not like a little witch. I don't know if he's correct about that, but let's find out. <laughs> Remember how in episode 9, I predicted that Jojo told Arena basically nothing about him? And this just kind of proves my point. He must have told her enough, but not anything substantial. The fact that Joseph was raised thinking that Hammond's going to melt a vampire's face, and it obviously does not shows that Jojo told her diddly squat about his life. Was that out of love or was it just him trying to be his version of a gentleman? I don't know. Ah. Looking, Looking good. good. Strazo even knows what he's doing with his outfit. Like I love the blood-stained white outfit with the scarf that has like how many absorbing from it and he's just doing all the right things he just for some reason it seems like in this anime and in a couple other animes i can think of that the villain is often smarter than the hero although this joseph is pretty smart but his intelligence is mostly like tricking strazo used to be on the good side so it's really hard to say maybe he just learned from dio the best. <laughs> That's a smart. smart. I hope, I hope he, doesn't he doesn't die, die though. <laughs> Not sure how the fandom feels about Smokey, but I like him. He's pretty smart, he's logical, he doesn't judge anybody too harshly. And he seems like a cute guy, you know? He's He's got a conscience, he's pretty much the only normal one in this show so far. And by normal I mean like not a vampire or not with superpowers. Oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna eat her. <laughs> I just love the fact that Strazo has only been a rival for like an episode and a half and he's already taken a girl hostage. Part of me is jealous but... She probably won't live, so I'm not that jealous. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. The old Jojo would have been like, unhand her. But this Jojo is like, I don't know her. Do whatever you want. It's hard to tell if Joseph actually cares or not. It kind of seems like he does care. He's just pretending not to care so he can pull out one of his fancy little magic tricks. But it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Either way, this was getting really intense and I'm really loving it. Kinda like a happy mail. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> so here you'll see me laughing because for some reason that made me blush. And here you'll see me trying to die of laughter and embarrassment because I'm trying to figure out why that made me blush. I also don't know why I held up my leg. I guess we'll never know. I don't understand why Strazo, Strazo, Potato Potato, you know, whatever his name is, 
I love that he's describing how he's going to torture her, and f for some odd reason that I can't explain, it made me blush. Love how Joseph was just like, I don't know her, she's not worth my time, she's ugly. He's just so blunt about it, it's so funny. He doesn't even consider that a threat, he's like, are you trying to threaten me? Because I don't care about her, she's like this ugly little thing that you picked up off the street. <laughs> <laughs> Love how as soon as Jojo number two rips his clothes off, Strezo just like throws her to the side like you were never worth anything to begin with, you were just a hostage. To be honest, I kind of wish, I think I said this last time, but I wish I had started with this one because this one is a lot more straightforward than the first part in my opinion. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Anna seems like Strezo's gonna die. And the reason I don't look as upset as I actually am is because halfway through this episode, I want to look up Strezo's voice actor, and then upon looking it up, I found the spoiler that he eventually does perish. What? What? I don't understand why Jojo number two would go through all of this just to try and save Strezo. This better be one of his magic tricks because you can't tug my heartstrings that much. Either he's gonna die or he's not. You can't just hang him there and let him soar. <laughs> The Pillar, the pillar man. man! No! Is he, Is crying? he crying? No, no he's, he's not. not. I'm a little confused of Strazo's actions here. Like, it seemed like he was on the other side and admired Dio. He warns Jojo number two of his so-called inevitable fate, but why would he do that if he was on the evil side? Makes me wonder if he really was evil or if he was just using the Haman to look younger just so he could have that luxurious hair for a bit longer before dying. Strezo's telling him about the Pillar Man. It seems like it's a relic that's been sucking up the energy from humans that have been feeding it like a plant almost. Makes me wonder if Strezo actually did go evil. Did he really feel like he needed to warn Jojo before going to hell about why he put the bodies in the river or whatever he did? I'm just really confused about his overall objective with Jojo. Is he actually trying to help him or is he trying to destroy him? It kind of seems like Strezo almost killed himself, so obviously he wanted to warn Jojo and that was like his dying wish, and I don't understand why that would be somebody's dying wish. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know who this dude is or if he's the new rival, but I don't like him. He's giving me bad vibes. Not, he's not giving me deal vibes, like playful. He's giving just like straight up mean vibes. Like no charm, no passion, nothing. Just evil. Seems very, very aggressive and not in a fun way. <laughs> it's funny how this news reporter girl is uh, more upset about being called ugly than she was about being held hostage for all of five seconds. <laughs> like to be honest, Jojo probably just said that to be dramatic, and he probably he probably wasn't even looking at her. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't even, even remember. remember. I love this Jojo, he better stick around. 
she's so offended that he doesn't remember her and he's like oh i'm sorry i've got anger issues when i'm mad i don't remember anything <laughs> uh, she cares way too much and he cares way too little it's so cute i love it I don't understand how Speedwagon telling the truth is going to make this pillar man come alive. I thought Speedwagon just said everything that came to his mind. He's a commentator, but maybe he does know some dark stuff. <laughs> That's sad. Goodness, what is this? The Hunger Games? I volunteer as tribute. No, let's not. And who, and who is, is that? that? <gasps> who to be continued? All right, it's time for my final thoughts. I don't know if the Pillar Man will wake up with Speedwagon's knowledge, although I'm curious to see who the Pillar Man really is. Who knows, maybe he will wake up, but as Speedwagon mentioned, they really don't know what they're dealing with. So no matter what happens, they're probably all gonna die. I'm still in love with Strazo or Strazo or whatever his name is. It sucks that he had to die, but to be honest, knowing he was gonna die at some point kind of softened the blow. I just wish he had a couple more episodes to go. I'd say he'd revive, but he's not like Dio, or else he wouldn't have died. Of course, I still love Jojo number two, aka Joseph. He's so smart, he's so cute, he's got anger issues, I can resonate with him. He's more human-like than any other character in the series, I think. Like, he, he's not perfect, but he's not pretending to be perfect like the last Jojo was. I really enjoyed this episode, and I hope Speedwagon pulls through. I'm not sure if he will, he's already quite old as it is. So I'm not sure if he'll wake up, or if he'll tell the truth, or if he'll crack. I'm really anxious to find out, though. I think it would be cool if Jojo and that girl that was hostage that was a reporter, if they had a romance, that would, I'd be okay with it. So thank you very much for watching, especially if you watched all the way through with my voice. I cannot apologize enough for my awful mistake. So much googling and I'm so glad that some people had the patience to get to this point. So thank you so much for watching and if you liked it please give it a like and maybe comment and subscribe and all the basic YouTube crap.